Hello everyone, we're going to talk today about how to use your knowledge of part one of Great Expectations to write a Schaefer paragraph, as we're calling it, uh, in, in, in response to a prompt about that part one. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. Here is your prompt. In what way did does what happens to Mrs. Joe alter Pip's household? Now you can tell by that question that's going to be asking you for some concrete detail. What exactly happens in the book? How is Mrs. Joe herself different? Okay, that again is asking you for some concrete detail. Explain your feelings about what has happened to Mrs. Joe. That's not concrete detail, is it? That's asking you for your reaction. In what way do her past actions contribute to your feelings? Okay, they're asking you about your feelings. That's obviously commentary. So this is set up pretty well for you. There are two questions about concrete detail. There are two questions there about your response or your commentary, as we call it. So let's see how we're going to take that prompt, answer the prompt, which is always our number one goal, and get some specifics here for this question. Okay, I'm giving you a sample topic sentence. You may use this one if you wish, but you certainly do not have to. You may come up with a better one. I just came up with this one very quickly. This is what we're going to prove. Remember, our Schaefer paragraph always starts off with a topic sentence. So the topic sentence, this is what we're going to prove throughout the paragraph. Although Mrs. Joe's personality is altered by an act of violence, the change in her, in her brings more peace to Pip's household. Okay, so that's what I'm going to prove. Again, you may use that one or not. You can certainly say whatever you wish in response to that prompt. Now, this is our first chunk. Remember, a Schaefer paragraph has a thesis sentence, two chunks, which is concrete detail followed by two lines of commentary. Okay, that's one chunk. So here's our first chunk. For example, now let's give evidence of her former self. Think of one thing that she did before she was attacked that would give us a good picture of what she was like. You could even use a quote from the book, perhaps. Now, the next thing you're going to do is com comment on that. Give your commentary. And you could start it with such something as simple as, this shows that... Now, you don't have to use that phrase, but it works well. Okay, This action that I just told you about in the concrete detail, that's the red there, this action that I just told you about means what? That's what I'm going to talk about in this first line of commentary and also in the second line of commentary. So I get two lines to explain what this action that I've just cited tells you about Mrs. Joe before the attack. So that's our first chunk. So now we have a topic sentence in one chunk. Let's go on to the second chunk when you're ready. Now here is our second chunk, our second, which starts with our second piece of concrete detail. However, after the attack, all right, what was she like after the attack? Now again, this phrase, however, after the attack, is a sample for you. You certainly may use it. You might want to go ahead and use my samples here as kind of a uh, training wheels as we're uh, practicing writing these paragraphs. But you don't have to. And then you're going to follow up again with two lines of commentary. What does this tell us? this behavior of hers after the attack. What is your response to it? And then finally you have a concluding sentence. Now when you're ready to write your concluding sentence, you want to go back and look at everything that you've written and also go all the way back to the prompt. 
Okay. So, is there something in this prompt, perhaps that last sentence, in what way do her past actions contribute to her feelings? That may be a way to sum it all up, because she was so and such and such before the attack, and so and so after the attack. Um, uh, you know, I feel much more sympathetic towards her, or I feel that Pip has been blessed with more peace, or whatever you want to say there. Um, I don't want to totally put the words in your mouth, but just make sure that you are answering the prompt when you go back, and when you're ready to write that final concluding sentence. Okay, so once again, if we go real quickly, here's our prompt. Then we have a sample topic sentence. This is what we're going to prove, that this change brings more peace. That's in the case of this sample sentence. Then we have a concrete detail, two lines of commentary. And since we are contrasting her earlier self to her later self, I would suggest that my second piece of concrete detail be about her later self. That's why I've offered the sample, however, after the attack. Again, followed by two lines of commentary. And then finally, sum it up. And there you'll have your Schaefer paragraph written to answer this prompt about Great Expectations.